so here I am again with another video story today I am at the sports complex of La Bécassière here in Versoix, Geneva, Switzerland and it's an open day or sports day for the Athletics Club of Versoix. So I'm here to participate. But I think it's also a good time to give an update. I think that maybe I need to change position because I see too many lines which Okay, I'm starting over. Camera rolling. Sound speeding. Action. One, two, three. So, hello folks. So, here I am again with another video story. Today is Saturday the 7th. The 7th of October, 2023. I'm here at the sports complex of La Bécassière. The, sco the sports complex La Bécassière here at Versoix. And today is a sports day or a day dedicated to athleticism. So I see all sizes and all ages of people here. which is great and there is the weather is beautiful it's fine I'll pan across and give you an idea an idea of my view the weather is beautiful and uh, today is actually to celebrate one full month where I have been consistent and regular in my physical fitness regime and whereby every week I'm there on time to practice the sport, the group sport that I signed up for. So like I told you in previous videos, Mondays I signed up for badminton Tuesdays for badminton, Wednesdays for tennis and athletics running in the evening. Thursday I keep it quiet and Friday for athletics. So I did that consistently for one month and I'm so proud of myself, you know. However, however, I think sometimes we need to pace our plans because when they are too vigorous, too quickly, too fast, um, you know, and the body cannot keep pace with all that aggressive aggressiveness, aggressivity that in, it throws everything into jeopardy anyway basically what I'm trying to say is that it appears that the, um, the sportive activities though good was a bit too fast too hard too aggressive to start off with and so it got to a point my body just gave in. I, I got um, a virus. And that virus knocked me out. I mean, when I say knocked me out, really, literally. Yeah, the whole of this week, I could not practice any sport at all. I was dead anyway. I was flat on my feet. There was nowhere I could. And even now, it's difficult. 
I hope I'll be fully recovered by Monday, Monday coming, and then I'll be able to resume. But yeah, so that's the story. So I just wanted to, first of all, congratulate myself for sticking with the program, and I'm going to stick with it. Actually, today, the reason for coming here was to pay for the clothes I had ordered. And then they're going to have the logo of the athleticism, that's what athleticism club. And then I'll be a fully fledged member of the Versoa athleticism club. And this will be full integration into my local community. And I'm so proud of myself and I'm so happy. So I think I will now go back to editing my work. I have lots and lots of stories I have captured. They're still in the camera, still on the disc, scan disc. And uh, yeah, I need to, I need to get to work. But right now, you know, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try to find a farmer's garden. A farmer's garden where I can buy my fruits and vegetables straight from the farmer. Because, you know, these fruits and vegetables that I buy from these supermarkets, you know, they just don't last and they get rusty and moldy. I say rusty, excuse me, moldy. And they just go bad and I'm fed up set up so i'm going to look for the farmer's garden that i know is somewhere here and i'll see what i can get so let's do this and of course as usual i'll take you along with me so like i said this is just an update that i have done one full month of regular um, sports which is badminton tennis and athletics and I'm so proud of myself. I feel fitter, happier, and therefore wealthier. And so right now, I'm moving on to going to source my food, fruits and vegetables straight from the farm. I'm fed up of buying them from the supermarket. They don't last. And especially the fruits, please give me a break. So I want to see where I can, whether I can buy them straight from the farmer's farm. And so, I know there's one around here. I'm going to look it up in um, on Google Books Map, and then we're going to go there, and we're going to see what we can get. So let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. Oh my God, I am so blessed. I'm so blessed. It's so sunny. It's so bright. It's so lovely. And I must be grateful. Really, I am. <laughs> See you in a bit. Don't go away. Bye. This is my view. the camera over so like I was saying I shopped directly from the farmers farm and so it's a farmers farm and all the produce are straight from the ground and they're local and they're bio and organic and all that and 
and so I'm so proud that today I actually made it. I've been meaning to do this for a long, long time. But today I actually have to get to do it. So I'm so happy. So, voila! So I'm going to taste it and then I tell you all about it. But yeah, I've actually, I'm shopping differently. Coming to the farmer's market and buying produce from the farm and try to stay as healthy and happy and wealthy as I can by making sure whatever I put inside my body is really going to improve my good health and well-being. So, hello.